Okay, it has the chance to make a big difference in the cleaning of our lakes and providing renewable energy to 2,500 homes. Today, Dane County opened the third manure digester just outside of Middleton. Now, the opening comes on the heels of a very troubling year for another digester near Wanakee. And news reporter Dave Delosier is here with more on why this new operation they're saying may be different, Dave. Yeah, Eric and Michelle, you know, everyone is pretty much in agreement that these digesters are very, very important for the cleaning of our lakes and streams. And there are two big differences separating this new digester from the one near Wanakee. One, the technology is different, and secondly, so is the company that is operating it. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. It represents a chance for change. The chance with this one digester to treat 100,000 gallons of liquid manure for three dairy farms every day. By keeping that phosphorus out of lakes and streams, it could reduce 370,000 pounds of algae in the Yahara watershed. So this is really game changing in our efforts to clean our water. We'll have the manure coming in and at the end of the day, 100% of the phosphorus will be eliminated once this additional technology is put in place. In the process, Gunderson Health Systems, the company operating the plant will generate enough energy to power approximately 2,500 area homes. This digester is really, um, you know, the next step in the evolution of digesters. And that is critical given the history of another digester near Wanakee. The past year has certainly been disappointing, I agree. In the last year, there were three separate spills of liquid manure, totaling 435,000 gallons. Then in August, an explosion and fire damaged the facility operated by Clear Horizons. In addition, the facility was falling short of goals to reduce phosphorus. There is disappointment with the past. However, I'm more focused on the future. Clear Horizons has promised changes to this operation. They are adding staff and replacing equipment. The hope is that they can again meet phosphorus reduction goals in the next year. If that can be achieved, combined with this newer, more efficient facility, the impact to our lakes could be significant. Um, this is state of the art, many built in safety redundancies, um, top notch operators, top notch owners. So we're really excited about the contribution it's going to make to cleaning up our lakes as well as producing green energy. Now, this new technology brings many positives to the table. In addition to reducing phosphorus from our waters and generating renewable energy, it is also reducing greenhouse gases. It will, re it will reduce the release of 22,000 tons of climate cha changing emissions this year alone. And Eric and Michelle, that's the equivalent of the CO2 emissions of more than 4,000 cars. Wow, well, we'll see what it can do. A lot All of right. positive opportunities there. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, you Dave.